Hey, let's check out my first attempt to make my own hot water uh, for the washing machine and for use in the kitchen. Uh, Suzanne gave me this black rain barrel she didn't want, so I put it where the old rain barrel was, the one that I'd made that I'd done such a poor job with. It was so leaky, on top of concrete blocks, which were, of course, scavenged. Just for the heck of it, yesterday I taped uh, to the house wall these insulated reflective... Um, wrapping bags. Uh, I don't know what came in them. I dumpster dived them many months ago and I cut off the sides so they became two flat sheets and used rolled up duct tape to uh, stick them to the house just as a temporary uh, effort. And then today I set up this big plank of mirror I've had stored uh, on the east side of the house for years. Uh, the original intent was to go on the living room floor project but now I have so much mirror for that I thought I'd try this. Uh, I have it stabilized in place with duct tape against um, the tub itself, but to really hold it in place, what I did is I took one of these mini plastic barrels I have and filled it full of water for weight, so it should be very, very secure in terms of wind. Of course, a hurricane or something, you know, would take it down. So it's not committed to that position, but it should be quite stable. Even though the mirror plank has only been out for about an hour now, and it's, I think it's about 11 o'clock or so, I've noticed that already up, you know, and I've got a pane of glass up top here to trap the heat. Of course, the glass comes off when uh, rain is going to come. But I've noticed, even though the mirror plank's only been up for a couple hours, this top couple inches of water up here is so hot, I can't really touch the barrel. You go further down, and it's lukewarm, and then down here at the bottom, it's cool. So what my idea is I've got this old paddle, that I bought years ago. It came with an inflatable boat that I have not, not used yet. And I'm thinking is when I want to go ahead and try to use some water, remove uh, the pane of glass that's up there, stir the water with a paddle, and get it more uniform. And my, my goal is to have it warm enough where I could stick uh, one of these uh, seven gallon swimming pool tablet buckets I have, I get from different people, and use that to fill the washing machine. So there'd be minimal reliance on tap water coming into the house for that purpose. Also, I'm hoping it gets hot enough to do the dishes with, but if it doesn't, uh, my dish reflector out in the backyard uh, should do that once I repaint the jugs black. Uh, the total cost for this, actually I don't know what I paid for that ore, because I bought it with an inflatable boat so long ago, but that's the only purchased item. The mirror was scavenged, the plate glass was scavenged, the uh, reflective foil wrapping stuff was scavenged, concrete blocks were scavenged, uh, the hose uh, for the uh, uh, spill-off was scavenged, and then the rain barrel was a gift. I'll let you all know how this works. I th tomorrow, I guess, will be the test because everything reflective will be up uh, from the point of sunrise. I'll keep you all posted. Cross your fingers. Bye-bye.